And so that's the lies that been taught to us to make us believe that this is God. And this is white supremacy. This is why we stay at the bottom because we worship the white man. And that cross brings that spirit. Watch this. Read that. Second Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. That cross preaches another Jesus. Read. Whom we have not preached. Or if ye receive another spirit. Which ye have not received. Because that cross is another spirit. It's a Christianity spirit. It puts that homosexuality spirit on our people. Right? Read. Or another gospel. Which ye have not accepted. Ye might well bear with him. You might well bear with him. I mean you don't give it the time of day. Like that cross. We shouldn't wear that cross. Uh, what's the mistress cross? What's the mistress cross? The mistress cross. Oh, Isaiah 30, Watch this. Give me Isaiah 30, 22. I'm going to show you what Christ. Before officer come up. I'm going to show you what Christ said. What God said you should do with that cross. You too sis. Listen up. This is what God said we should do with the Christian cross, which is a graven image. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 22. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver, and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. So he said those graven images, you should defile those. You should get rid of those. You should destroy those, right? Read. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. He said thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. Sis, what is a mistress cloth? Menstruation cloth, right? Like a, a, a tampon, right? After you use a tampon, what do you do? Do you, do you put it around your neck? No, what did God, God say we should do with the cross? Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. You're supposed to throw that, that graven image, that cross, away as a menstruous cloth. The same way you would throw a, 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 a dirty tampon, you're supposed to throw that cross out. God, that cross does not honor Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's saying you got to do. So do you really love God? So are you going to do what the Bible just said? This, this is the Bible. Right. He said, Toss, throw the cross away as a mistress cloth. Are you going to do it? Or are you going to still rock? You still got it on right now. You finish that. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. You should say to it, get away from here. You throw the cross away and you don't go pick it back up. It says, get thee hence. I don't want nothing to do. Once you throw a, a, a tampon off, you don't go back and pick the tampon up and use it again. You throw that away. You know what I'm saying? All praise this, sis. That shows repentance. With the little script you heard, this is the Bible. All we out here to do is teach what the Bible says. Right. You know what I'm saying? True repentance. If you love God, you'll do what the Bible says. He says, throw the cross away, the idol away as a mistress cloth. So you, the chain, keep the chain. But that cross, got to go. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't put that back on. Here you go. All praises. So, yes, exactly. That's exactly what you're supposed to do with that because... What, that pro what came with that cross was Christianity. Christianity is a religion. God didn't give us religion. He gave us laws and commandments. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because look, check this out. Uh, look, this is Christianity. Like, do you go to church? What club was that at? <laughs> that was Admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. What, what uh, church do you go to? Baptist, Pentecostal, or what? Catholic? Okay, exactly. Same thing, Catholicism. That came from here, the Pope, right? So, who, who is this? <laughs> who, who is this? Okay, God, Jesus, right? That's what we just got through going through, correct? Give me that in Revelation. Look, this is Christianity. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, this man right here, his name is really actually Cesar Bolger. He's a real man. He was the Pope Alexander VI, was it? Uh, son. And he was a homosexual. He raped his uh, mother and he, he raped his sister and he killed his brother. And this is who the Pope hired. You heard of Michelangelo and uh, Leonardo da Vinci? The Pope hired them to white out all the images of Jesus Christ and make them this. But listen what the Bible says Jesus looked like. Read Revelation 1 and 1. 
Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this is the revelation or the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? Read verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this is John. John actually walked with Christ. So he's saying I was in the spirit, meaning I was in keeping the commandments on the Lord's day, which is the Sabbath, right? And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. And now he's saying that he heard behind him a voice because when you uh, when we read this, the Christian church tells you that this was uh, Christ in spiritual form or whatever the case it might be. Foolishness. Because listen what John said again. Read it from the top. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So he told John what you see write it in a book you know what i'm saying not a vision or something like that he said what you see write it in a book read and send it unto the seven churches which are in asia and ephesus and Sim simneria and unto pegamos and unto thyteria and sardis and unto Phil philadelphia and unto ladosia verse 12 and i turned to see the voice see that now he said i turned to see the voice that was behind me. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now look at these two pictures. You know what I'm saying? He said Jesus Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Which one of these two pictures got white woolly hair? This one over here, correct? Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Which one of these two pictures got red eyes like fire? Over here, right? Now read. And his feet. Now he looked down at Christ's feet. So if I look down at your feet, I can tell what color you are, correct? So he looked down at Christ's feet. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Huh? A golden brown, derivative of brown, correct? So he said his feet were like fine brass. What color uh, were they? As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, what color is it? Black. Black. So, which one of these two pictures look more like Jesus? Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. If Jesus Christ was walking the earth right now, he would be what you call an African American. That's what Jesus Christ is, not this. That's why they gave you Catholicism. That's why they gave you Christianity. That's why they gave you that cross around your neck. All of those things symbolize has nothing to do with Christ. How you doing, bro? Well, come back. Come talk to us. Okay. But none of that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Nothing. So now, with that being said, if I ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Nationality means what race of people you descend from. Hispanic, right? Well, Hispanic means property of Spain. You know what I'm saying? Because the so-called Spaniards came to what is now South America and Mexico and conquered the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Incas, correct? And that's who gave you Catholicism. That's how you, were, that's how you became Catholic because they conquered the, the natives that were in that land and made them Catholic right. by... Uh, Let's get it right quick. Let me see. Here it is. Look, they came down there, and this is how you became Catholic. Through colonization. The same way the so-called African Americans became Baptist, uh, Mormon, Pentecostal. All of those things, how? Because they brought us over here on slave ships, and we didn't have a choice. Look, the Baptist religion or denomination was founded by John Smith in 1608. Where were our people in 1608? We were in somebody's field picking cotton, right? We're uh, Mormon, 1830. Where were we in 1830? Slavery. You know what I'm saying? All of these different Seventh-day Adventists, uh, uh, Pentecostal, Jehovah's Witness, all of these different denominations 
We were in slavery when they came about. We didn't have a choice whether we wanted to be Baptist. They didn't bring Baptists from uh, the coast of Africa to America. They didn't bring Seven Day Adventists from the coast of Africa to America. You see what I'm saying? We became that through slavery. Right. Only the reason, only reason my, my mom is Church of uh, God in Christ is because it goes all the way back to slavery. That's right. My great, 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 whoever, grandfather was Church of God in Christ because Master was Church of God in Christ. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.